What's up guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use an OBD2 scanner. So the onboard diagnostic system, also called OBD2, is the second generation and is used in vehicles made after 1996. The purpose of an OBD2 scanner is to retrieve data from the engine control module and display it on a screen for us to read. The ECM on the other hand continuously monitors various sensors and systems within the vehicle and generates diagnostic trouble codes when it detects a problem. This is typically when the engine light comes on to let us know when something's wrong. With all that in mind, let's get straight into the video. Firstly, you need to plug your scanner into the OBD2 port. For most vehicles, it's going to be located on the driver's side of the vehicle underneath the steering wheel. Next, you can either turn the keys to the on position or simply start the car. Both will power on the engine control module to be able to communicate with the scanner. So this scanner only has four buttons, up, down, escape, and enter. Now this scanner performs a lot of functions, and if I were to cover them all, it would be a really long video. So for that reason, I will only be talking about the functions that I think are most necessary and the ones that I use the most. So let's hit enter and start with diagnostics. Now under read codes, you'll have stored and pending codes. Stored codes means the engine light is on and the ECM has confirmed the code. Pending codes means the ECM has detected an issue but has not confirmed it, kind of like an intermittent problem. Now under stored codes, it shows that I have a map sensor code. It's accurate because I just disconnected the map sensor connector. Now if you want to get rid of the engine light, just click on erase codes and then click yes. Bear in mind that if you didn't fix the problem, the ECM will trigger the engine light again and the same code will reappear. In my case, I just plug the connector back in and it's good now. Another great feature of the scanner is live data. It offers real-time insights into different parameters and sensors in the vehicle, making it easy to diagnose intermittent issues. It also allows you to observe live graphing, which is helpful. In addition, it allows you to record and save data sets up to six different locations. The next feature is freeze frame. This feature captures a snapshot of the data at the exact moment the ECM triggers the engine light. It's super helpful for diagnosing issues as it allows you to see exactly what was happening at that specific time. Now this inspection and maintenance readiness feature is great because it helps your vehicle meet emission standards. It helps to check if all emission control components have completed self-tests. However, it's important to note that not all vehicles support every monitor, which may lead to not applicable readings. Another great feature is this O2 monitor test, but it only works with certain oxygen sensors. Now let's move on to something more versatile, the onboard monitor test. This thing's pretty neat because it lets you check out a bunch of stuff in your vehicle, covering up to 13 different systems. Say you're suspecting some misfires in one of your cylinders, this test can help you pinpoint exactly which cylinder's misfiring. Lastly, another quick feature is vehicle info. If you need your VIN, you can access it right here from the scanner. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.